Okay guys, we're gonna be talking about the DS3231 chip today. Um, it's a real-time clock, you can get lots of different kinds. This is a DS1307. Um, I don't really like this one, it's a bit less accurate than this. Uh, and they're about the same price, so I don't really know why you would use the DS1307. So this one's the DS3231. Now these come on little modules, or you can buy the chips themselves. I've got some here. Now I'm gonna be making uh, a little module out of these myself. So I wanna design my own board. Um, it won't really be a module actually, it's going to be more of a, uh, a clock in its own right. So it's gonna have some LEDs on there to tell the time, potentially in binary, but it might actually be a full analog clock, I'm not sure yet. But you can pick these up as modules um, and I suggest that's the best way of picking these up to learn how to use them. Getting the information out of these is a little bit complex if you're not a programmer, but there are libraries available to sort of interact with the registers for you. So I'm gonna be using the Sodak DS3231 library to interface with this chip. And we're gonna be using an Arduino Leonardo. This is how it's all hooked up. So we've got our little module here. Um, it's connected to five volts at the moment, but you can connect it to 3.3. It does depend on your module. So this one um, will accept five volts, so that's fine. It's got a diode dropping the voltage, I believe there. Uh, so it's fine to take five volts. It also has battery backup on the back, so it's not gonna lose time when you unplug it. Those batteries tend to last around uh, two years, something like that. Uh, we've got VCC go to five volts. We've got ground there. Let me just turn this module around this way and you can see it a bit better. Um, we've got SDA and SCL. Now these are your I squared C connections um, and I've just put them going to SDA and SCL there, but actually depending on which microcontroller you're using. So if you're using an UNO, you'll need to connect SDA to A4 and SCL to A5. Now on an UNO, you do actually get them on the board in a separate place but they're not marked on most UNOs that I've seen. So it's best to just use these analog pins. On the Leonardo, which is what I'm using, actually has them marked pretty much in the same place they are on the UNO actually. So it's, you can use those ones there. It's just above the A ref pin. So, because we're gonna be designing our own module, we wanna have a quick look at the data sheet to make sure that we understand what's going on. Now, the top section here gives us some information about accuracy. It gives us some information about uh, registers for aging trim. Uh, we've got something about uh, reset, uh, two time of day alarms. So there's some things we can start thinking about. However, I really just wanna know how to wire the thing up. Uh, so there's our, our base DS3231 chip, and it's giving us a typical operating circuit. Now you'll see we've got a couple of pull-up resistors there for the SCL line and the SDA lines. Those are our I squared C lines. Um, we've got VCC up here, a couple of pull-up resistors on the interrupt square wave line and also on the 32 kilohertz out. Um, we've also got a capacitor there, which isn't mentioned, so we'll have a look and see if we can find something about that. And then on VBAT, we've got an external battery. And a lot of pins are connected to ground here, and there's a reset uh, button on the reset pin. Supply voltage is 5.5 back maximum. Uh, typical is 3.3, and 2.3 is minimum. They change a little bit. VBAT typical is uh, three, so that's your battery input, but we can go a bit higher than that. Uh, we'll be using uh, either uh, the sort of small lithium batteries, a coin cell, or we might look at using a lithium ion battery, I'm not sure. Scrolling down a bit further, we can get to the pin descriptions. Now VCC, the DC power pin for the primary power supply, we should uh, decouple this. So standard decoupling capacitors, 0.1 microfarad and a one microfarad capacitor. So we'll get a uh, sort of ceramic in there and maybe throw an electrolytic in there for the one one microfarad. So this is our code. It's really, really simple. We've just included the SODAC library. We've got our wire library in there as well. And we're creating a date time constant. This isn't very much modified from the example uh, that he created, but there's also an example in there for setting the time as well. So we could have a look at examples very quickly. So we've got adjust interrupts now temperature. So if we have a look at adjust, adjust uh, is a way of setting the time. So we've got date time, and then we create this uh, date time constant. So this will be the time and date that gets set into our DS3231. Now, after it's been set in the setup, 
it will start looping and printing out the time. But I've already set the time, so I don't need to do that. In fact, we can have a look what it's kicking out now. So there we go, we've got the time coming out now. And that's all it's doing here is just printing out the time. So you can see we've got uh, serial.printnow.year, so it's printing out the year. Uh, we're putting a slash, then we've got month, date, hour, minute, second, and then we're, we're putting a gap after that. So it's really, really simple to get started. And once you've got these numbers, which can be just uh, an integer if you want them, so you could have int year equals now dot year. Uh, and that would put your year, or rather, in fact, we could probably have now year, so it's not conflicting. So now year is a, uh, an integer with the year in, so then we can play around with that number all we like. So it's very, very simple. So once you've got that time, you can do pretty much anything you like with it, just like throw it on this little display here. This is a 0.96 inch display. It's very small and I know you wouldn't be able to see it, so I thought I'd bring this magnifying glass in. Uh, so it's really, really easy to get these things going. And um, I'll keep you informed about progress with the little module.